Hey guys, welcome to me reacting to SML Movie The New Chef by Super Bowser Logan. Now, this is a puppet episode, apparently. I I heard that they're doing some like new there's gonna be a new character in this one, so this is actually a puppet episode. And that makes me worry because usually those are bad. Those are usually bad. But I mean, they at least have have me God dang it, I, I'm terrible at English. But like they they actually give me something to say. That's what I'm trying to say. And the thing is, is with the thumbnail, I already see a Gordon Ramsay puppet in the thumbnail, so it makes me think that they're going to make fun of Gordon Ramsay, or there's going to be a parody of Hell's Kitchen, or just MasterChef, or, yeah, something like that. Because, and also the new chef replacing Chef PB, you know, like replacing a character. By the end, Chef is going to come back and prove himself, or... Yeah, he's gonna come back. He's gonna come back in the end. I know it. I, I totally know it. But, uh, yeah, I heard that, you know, that the SML crew got the, you know, the thing. Except for one of them. Except for, you know, Brooklyn T guy. So I'm guessing, you know, the, the person who voices Brooklyn T guy and, like, Cody. So I'm guessing those characters will be out of the... out... And, you know, because, well, I don't know, because I guess they have to quarantine, so he has to stay away from them. So, yeah, that makes sense. That actually makes sense. But with that being said, original links in the description makes great to Sue Browser Logan. Links in the description. Anyways, let's get right into it. Junior, your grilled cheese is ready. Oh, wow. man, I love grilled cheese. That's on fire. It's on fire. Duh, how do you think I grilled it, idiot? Shit, I can't eat it. It's too hot. What? Well, okay. just blow it. You know, when food is hot, you blow it. I wish girls thought that I was hot food. What? Junior, just eat your grilled cheese. God. <sighs> they really made that joke. They mm. blow on it. You know, oh, they blow. I guess yeah. I just won't eat tonight since Chef Baby burned my food again. I really well, wish he lit it on fire. He didn't cook. burn it. Hey, idiots. Huh? Yeah, yeah, Brooklyn. I'm talking to you. Do you Gordon Ramsay. That thinks they know how Gordon to Ramsay. Are they really bad at cooking? With a really well, generic I mean, back, black background, by the way. Trash at cooking. Might teach them a thing or two. Ooh, I should hire that guy to teach Chef PB how to cook. Who I'm calling my Yeah, name. so this is a Hell's Kitchen yeah, episode. Yeah, Hell's Kitchen. Me. This is Hell. This is Hell's me. Kitchen. This is gonna oh, be Hell's sir. Kitchen. Hey, our Chef PB. No, don't talk to me, Junior. You didn't even eat your grilled cheese sandwich, and you almost burned the house down. Well, me? No, you're the one that uh, turned the grilled cheese on fire. Wait, wait. If you would have just ate your this sandwich, is... the fire would have went out. Oh, oh, oh Chef PB. This is gonna be a taking, Hell's taking Kitchen lessons? thing. I thought about getting lessons. I'm a perfect chef. <laughs> People should take lessons from me every day. No, no, I meant like getting cooking lessons. Like someone teach you how to cook. Wait, why would somebody teach me how to cook? I I'm perfect. Well, no, no, you're not, Chef PB. You're really bad at cooking. Wait, wait. I'm not bad at cooking. I'm a god. Cooking. Look, I came out of my mom's womb cooking. I was in her stomach with a spatula or whatever she was sticking up there. Well, well Chef Baby, look, I, I, I hired someone to give you cooking no. lessons. No. Wait, give me Stop. cooking lessons? Oh, I'll be giving them the cooking lessons. Who is it? Chef Boy RD? He wish he could beat me. Well, no, it's someone you probably know. Gordon Ramsay. Oh, right now. I'll go answer the door. Oh, whatever. Go get your little friend. Uh, hello? What are you supposed to be? Uh, a turtle, I think. A turtle? You've got to be the fattest turtle I've ever seen. Go eat a Snickers, chunky boy. Uh, uh, Get it? He's mean because he's Gordon Ramsay. I thought he was nice to the kids. Isn't he nice to the kids but mean to the adults? Well, no, I didn't hire you to cook me. I hired you to teach my friend how to cook. Well, get out of the bloody way and show me to the kitchen, fat boy. Uh, okay. Mm -mm -mm, it's almost done. All right, he's in here. Jesus Christ! Bend me over and check my rectal temperature. What in God's name's going on here? Oh my God! G -g 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 Gordon Ramsay, you're in my house, in my kitchen. Wait, what are you doing here? Well, I feel like I'm in a nightmare, and I'm Freddy Krueger, and that's worse than the Hiroshima bombing. What in God's name are you trying to make? <laughs> what? Well, making macaroni. Okay, that's kind of dark. Egg and marinara sauce. Chunky turtle boy. Punch me in the gonads. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, I needed that. Oh, all right. What's your name? Chef Pee Pee? Okay, Pee -Pee. that's Get taking a little bit no, no, too no, far. It's like... Chef Pee Pee. Oh, I didn't stutter. Chef Penis! Get over here now! Okay, okay, what do you want? You are bloody Ow! disgraceful! Ow! Wait, why are you hitting me? Is this raw egg all over your stove? Yes. That's a salmonella breeding ground! And how long has this bloody bottle been out? Uh, it's been out for a couple of days. Three bloody days. You're disgraceful, Peter. Three? You're, you're gonna get how a does he know it's three? Suit on, and you're gonna clean this kitchen top to bottom, and then you're gonna burn it down, and then we're gonna rebuild it from 
from scratch. And maybe, just maybe, you'll be able to cook something edible. <sighs> Disgraceful. Okay, okay. Is this clean enough? No, but I ain't got all night. And you need to learn how to cook badly. Hey, fat boy. Yeah? What's something you want to eat tonight? Uh, a cheeseburger. A cheeseburger. Do you think you can handle a burger? Well, you want me to cook it, like, right now? Duh! What do you think, you stupid? Are you dumb? Get to it! Okay. Okay. Uh, and done. All good, all good, all good, all good, all good. You didn't melt the cheese. The cheese is still... I don't still... want to hear my name come out of your disgusting mouth, penis! But, but, but it's ready! Alright, let's have a look. The cheese isn't melted. Jesus Christ! And it's is that burnt. my cremated grandmother? Grandma, is that you? Day old hag. What? No, it's not your okay. grandmother. <laughs> it's the burger that you asked me okay, to make. Okay, I get. Oh, some of his so, lines are funny, so some are kind of. What the hockey puck? Hit and miss. Hit or miss. And I'll be the shooter. I'll teach you for bullying me. I don't think he'd actually throw a plate. He might throw the food, but not the plate. Not the plate. All right, Tubby. Here's your burger. What in God's name is this? Oh, it's the grilled cheese Chef Bibi made me earlier. Chef Wainerhead, get in here! I get assume it? you are talking to me? Yeah, why don't you take some advice and buy a ticket to Hawaii and go over and put this rock back in the volcano where you got it from? It's not a rock, it's supposed to be a grilled cheese sandwich! Supposed to be, and you're supposed to be a chef! So why don't you run along, take that digger hole six feet under, and bring <laughs> that in there along with your career! <laughs> oh, damn! It's gonna oh, be anyway, me. Faso, here's your burger. Is it good? Is it good? This is a half pound Wagyu beef patty with fresh meat. Ooh, Wagyu. Wagyu meat is really good, I heard. I've actually tried it. It's good. Wagyu meat is really good. It is really, really good. I won't serve this to the Queen of England. So if it's not good, I'll chop my left leg off. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh my god. This is the greatest thing I've ever yeah. eaten. Yeah, I saw that coming. I saw that coming. What is that ungodly noise? Oh, Bowser. Bowser. Oh, good lord, an even fatter turn. He is. Yeah. Trying to make your chef a better cook. Oh, thank God, about time. Dad, you have to let him cook for you. He's amazing. Wait, really? Yeah, let me go whip something up for you. Okay. All right, here you are. Oh my god, this looks delicious! Mm. Prepared for you this that evening. actually does look pretty good. To beef with mature feline innocence, Ooh. paired beautifully with a nice fresh Maine lobster tail with red crayon shavings crayon. and broccolini. Oh, 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 wow, I think the crayon is like oh, the color form. Red Wait, crayon, it is? like that's that's it is. Like, it is. Wait, I can actually eat this and not get sick. You can. Oh my gosh, that's <laughs> you can. Anything that's edible. You know what? You're hired and he's fired. Well, I wasn't necessarily looking for a job. I, 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 too late. You already got the job. Right. Dad, you're really gonna fire Chef PP? Oh yeah, watch me. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay thinks my cookie's so bad. It's not that okay. bad. Okay. So then, what he's gonna come father? back in the end. Oh, you're fired. Wait, why do you sound like that? Well, look, Chef PP, you're fired. Wait, why am I fired? Because that new Chef PP over there can cook way better than you. Gordon Ramsay. is actually edible. Wait, edible? You can actually eat it? Yes, he can actually eat it. Look, I didn't think it was possible until he started cooking up some stuff. So get out of here. Scram. You can't cook. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, Chef we're going to see. This is the last time you'll never All see right. this happen. I'm going to pause it. We're like halfway through. To be honest... I, I, I know what's going to happen now. I know what's going to happen. This is the cliche, oh, you're fired, like, we don't need you. And then the new person is going to, like, screw up. Like, you know, they get annoyed of the new guy and, like, no, we want the old guy back. And then they're going to, like, they might show some, yeah, they probably won't. They're probably just going to show a bunch of scenes where, like, Gordon Ramsay is really annoying and mean. And then, like, to yeah, he's, like, mean to them. And then they get annoyed. And then, you know, they want... Chef PP back, and then they show Chef PP like in the dumps, and then they like bring him back in. That's my prediction. That is my prediction exactly. So I'm I'm hoping I'm right, but it it, it really seems like that's where this episode is going at this point. I guess it's time to say my final goodbyes. Oh, goodbye, house. Ow! Bowser, what was that for? What? You know what? I hate this house. I'm never coming back. 
<laughs> What's wrong, Dad? What? Oh, Junior, the deed is done. What, you fired Chef Pee Pee? I took him out back and I shot him just like old Yeller. Oh, poor Chef Pee Pee. Oh, I mean, yeah. it what? was hard to be put down. Oh, yeah, it was. We, we got a good couple years out of him. He was a good dog. He was yeah, a good dog. Yeah, he was. Well, I mean, now we can actually eat edible. What? I know, right? Yeah, I'm okay. This food. Me Weird. Let's eat. <laughs> Grab the remote. He's a big boy. Oh, okay. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting him to get fat. All right, you fat sack of lard. There's some more lobster tails. Now eat up. Uh, Mr. Ramsey, so, I don't want any more lobster tails. You don't want any more lobster tails? I've never heard of such nonsense. Now eat your lobster tails. Can I please have something different? All right. Well, here's a bloomin' onion. Do you ever make anything bad? No, everything I make's delicious. Well, can I have a Happy Meal or something? A Happy Meal? What nonsense! I would never put that toxic waste in my body. Now eat your lobster tails. Ooh, uh, yeah, so he gets, like, annoyed no, at him. I, I, I was not expecting him to get fat, though. I'm gonna... I'm gonna Uber eat some McDonald's or something. <laughs> Yeah, I was not expecting him to get fat, to be honest. So, that was a twist I didn't expect. He's gonna find him. He's gonna find him. Oh man, I'm in my room, and I finally get to enjoy some McDonald's. Why is the door locked? Uh, Open this door! I'm coming! Open the bloody door! Oh, okay. Lobster tails. Oh, no, no, I, I don't want any more lobster tails. Yes, lobster tails. No, I'm full. I, I don't want yeah. any lobster tails. What? Do I smell bloody McDonald's in here? No, no that's that's just my farts. I, I farted. No, that's not what a lobster tail fart smells like. I'm coming in to check your room. No, no, no. Here I go. What? Oh, I gotta hide my McDonald's. Well, well, well. What have we got here? <laughs> uh, well, 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 really Cliche. I, I was gonna throw it away. No, oh, I wouldn't know. Because all McDonald's food looks disgusting. And since it's over a month old, you wouldn't mind if I threw it away for you, would you? No, you, you, you could throw it away, but... All right, there but, we are. But what am I supposed to eat? Your lobster tails! But I don't want any more lobster tails. Well, it's a delicacy, and people would kill for it. So, eat your lobster tails. Well, I mean, oh, I you can't no just have... I'm tired of eating lobster tails. Yeah. I want McDonald's. Well, if he always oh, eats lobster really tails, then that's not good. I feel like fat, even the real Gordon Ramsay would himself. know that, like, eating the same thing would suck. Because he would just make something different. My dad loves lobster tails. He does? Ask him for some help. Now. Yeah, literally, I literally called it. They find him on the streets. Oh, you fat! What happened to you? Gordon Ramsay eats delicious food every night, so I got really fat. Oh wow, sounds like a rich man's. I knew they would find him on the streets and then they bring him back. Why are you living in a box? I'm not homeless. I'm, I'm just, you know. By the way, I should have also expected that he'd come back and then prove that he's better than Gordon Ramsay. So you know, I probably should have predicted that too before this. But I know what exactly is going to happen after this. Just waiting. Well, I was wondering if you could help me get Gordon Ramsay fired. Wait, you get Gordon Ramsay fired? Are you serious, Julia? Yeah, because he cooks really good food every night. I'm tired of being fat. I, I, I just, I, I want McDonald's. I want normal food. Fat sometimes. Junior. Stop cooking lobster tails. I thought you wanted lobster tails. You Chungus. <laughs> well, I thought I did, but no, I just want you back. So can you help me get Chungus fired, Junior? It's Chungus Let Junior. Let me think about it. I gotta mark some things out of my schedule. Hold on, just a second. Yeah. Oh. All right, I'm not doing anything. Okay, let's let's Haha, uh -huh, funny Gordon. joke. Right, Julia, how do we get rid of Gordon? Get it because he's Julia, homeless and doesn't have a schedule. Hold on. I'm fat. <sighs> really? <sighs> All right. Yeah. <sighs> the stairs. Not really funny. <sighs> get okay. it cuz fat shaming. We well, not really fight. fat shaming, more just fat jokes. Because he loves the food you know. too much. Okay, how do we get Gordon Ramsay to quit? Do we just tell him his cooking sucks and he'll cry and run away? No, he's not going to believe that. He actually has taste buds and he cooks good. Okay, um well, I know. What if you dress up like a chef that's more famous than him and tell him his cooking sucks? He'll have to believe you because you're more famous than him. Who's a, who's a chef more famous than him, though? Junior! Oh, hold on, Chef Baby. Hide, hide. Okay. Junior, here's some more lobster you tails. Your lobster here. tail. I don't want any more lobster tails, Gordon. Well, you better eat these lobster tails. Wait, wait real quick. What chef did you grow up loving? Hmm. Chef Boyardee. I loved his ravioli. Oh my oh, god, I Chef Boyardee. Now eat your lobster tails. I'll eat them. All right, Chef Baby. You have to dress up like Chef Boyardee and then tell him his cooking sucks. Okay, I can do that. All right. 
Junior's gonna love these last three lobster tails. Hey, it's me! Chef Boyardee! In the flesh! Well, what are you doing here? It's an honor! Well, they don't call me Chef Boy about the party for now. <laughs> Chef Boyardee, right though. Oh, you <laughs> gotta love Chef Boyardee. I find him hilarious. Uh, uh, lobster tail. Uh, no, no, ew! Where is the canned ravioli? Uh, canned ravioli, sir? I, I, I'll, I'll get right on it. Well, you're not a chef unless you're cooking canned ravioli. Only the best chefs can cook out of that. Well, I'm sorry, sir. I was just making... The lobster tails. Well, that is not good enough. I need canned ravioli. Okay, well, I'll go get canned ravioli right now. No, no, no. It's too late. You've already messed up. You're done. You, you should just quit at life. Oh, but, sir, I devoted my whole life to becoming a chef to be just like you. Your whole life? What a waste of a life. Oh, my God. If, if you're actually cooking this and not... I kind of feel life, bad for him, though. You just wasted your whole life. Ugh. Get out of here. <gasps> I have failed, Chef Boyardee. I kind of feel bad for him, though. You got rid of Gordon Ramsay. I know. I didn't think it would actually work, but he's gone. You look just like Chef Boyardee. He, he knew you without you introducing yourself. I know. I, I, kind of, I kind of do look like him, right? So we can go back to eating your disgusting food now. Um, I kind of want to try these these lobster tails first, okay? Uh, all right. I'm so glad I got you back, Chef Pee Pee. <laughs> why, is he, why is he eating the lobster tail? What? What? <laughs> okay. I thought he didn't like it. All right. Well... Honestly, yeah, what what else is there really to say? I predicted this episode from, nah, I'd say, I, I kind of predicted this episode. I knew where it was going when it was at the halfway mark, and yeah, to be honest, uh, yeah, to be honest, the Gordon Ramsay stuff, I, it was hit or miss. Some lines were funny, and then some weren't. And personally, I think the real Gordon Ramsay, when you really think about it, he'd 100% know not to make lobster tails, like, every single time. He'd know that he'd have to change it up, because having the same meal over and over again would obviously be annoying. Like, it'd obviously be really annoying, and you'd get tired of it. So that's why, yeah, I feel like just having him, and also the joke that the fact that he's like, he just makes lobster tails, and he just wants them to eat the lobster tails. It's not really that funny, personally, in my opinion. And that's what I was talking about, where the jokes were just, like, hit or miss. But overall, this was... It was okay. It was passable. It wasn't annoying. And it wasn't really boring, either. I was at least entertained in it. There were some funny jokes. I just predicted the plot, honestly. And at least I have something to say. At least I actually have something to say. I'm not just, like, straight bored and not really... I just don't have anything to say for my actual reaction. But, yeah, this was passable at best, honestly. I could see why people would just, you know, find it boring or just not find it. But I was I was entertained, to be honest. I, I thought it was okay. But, yeah, what did you guys think of this video? Leave that down in the comments down below. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>